Hello, welcome to Spotlight. For the first time in the southwest, police are going on patrol carrying semi automatic rifles. This is allowing me to have our assets, our firearms resources, more deployable in our communities and to reassure the communities that, that they are there and, and there to protect them. Also tonight, justice for the family which suffered at the hands of a drunk driver. He got two years, 28 months. He'd be out on time within six months. Disgusting. Ruby Tuesday Hobbs was left with serious injuries after she was hit by a car driven by Ashley Godber. The street where parents have been told to keep their children under control, but they dispute there's a problem. You will never see anything antisocial going, going on in the street, ever. It's unbelievable. The accusations are coming from nowhere. Join me with the RNLI who have some very simple advice which could save your life. And I'm not allowed to say Scotchio on the BBC, but it has been pretty hot today. 25 the top temperature, even hotter tomorrow, but some very strong sunshine. Armed police carrying semi-automatic rifles will patrol on the streets of the southwest for the first time. It's as a direct response to this week's suicide bomb attack in Manchester. The force is stressing there's no specific threat here, but as we head into the bank holiday weekend, they're urging people to continue to enjoy events in the region and to remain vigilant. Well, live now to our Home Affairs correspondent Simon Hall at police headquarters in Exeter. Well, this move goes against the tradition to British temperatures still above average, but I think the chance for rain will be on those heavy, thundery showers tomorrow night. Back to the studio. Thank David, you, David, thank you. We're going to enjoy it now, aren't we? Yes. And we'll all leave you tonight with a sand, sea and sunshine in Crantock. From all of us here, have a good evening. Good night.